Word on the street is you're being promoted. CEO, baby! Yeah! Wait, can you handle the pressure? Are you gonna be able to do this? We better talk. Welcome back to SE Lifestyle TV. I'm Steve Wright. This is your home for better digestion, better health, and we're gonna do it through simple action steps. So if you stay with me at this episode, at the end of the episode, I'm gonna give you one very actionable and very simple step that's gonna chart to transform your health. Now, this week we're talking about what happens when you get handed the keys to your body. That's right, whether or not you know it, you are the CEO of you. You've been promoted. That might be a shock, that might not be. For me, it took a long time before I woke up one day and I realized that I was in charge. That it didn't matter what any doctor said, what my parents said, what anyone said, I had the right to make the decisions for me. Now, it's kind of scary and some people are really good at this, other people are not so good at this. So what I wanna talk about today is what I think is the most important part about being CEO. I've been practicing this for a few years and I've read a lot of leadership books, a lot of biographies of presidents and CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. And the one theme that's repeated over and over and over is that the CEO or the leader never really thinks that they're the smartest guy in the room. They strive to fill their inner circle with very smart people. And then when it's time for them to make a very critical decision or when it's time for them to do something, they always bounce their ideas off the, the board that advises them, their inner circle, whatever it is. So what I wanna talk about is you need to identify as CEO of you, who are your advisors? Because anyone who's giving you advice, whether it's the car salesman or your doctor or the, the shopper at Whole Foods, the cashier on, at the checkout, if you listen to all of these inputs, and you start to Google whatever they told you about, the latest superfood or the latest cleanse or whatever it is, they're advising you. But when it comes to your doctor, it's likely that you do a lot of what he says or she says. And so let's start first by identifying your advisors. So what I want you to do is take out a sheet of paper and you're gonna draw two circles in a box. First, draw a circle in the middle, put you, Y-O-U, right in it. Next, draw a circle around that kind of big and write advisors. Around that, draw a big box. That's everyone else. So now what I want you to do for this week's simple actionable step is fill out who's currently advising you. Now this is almost always your doctors, your parents, your best friend, likely your spouse, maybe your children, um, your coworker that you spend a lot of time with, you discuss health with at lunch, it could be the guy who mows your lawn. It might be a car salesman. If these people are advising you, if you take their opinion into consideration, then they are part of your advisory team. And so that's the hard truth that we need to nail down right now is who do you come in contact with on a daily basis that's giving you advice that might not be qualified? What I had to go through is I had to go through and learn that while I'm not gonna say my parents aren't qualified to give me advice, when it comes to medical advice, they're not my number one source. They don't determine yes or no on treatment. I've surrounded myself with a lot of other consultants or advisors who have much more qualified training in this area. It's not that I don't value my friend's opinion or anyone else that I've sort of removed from my advisory circle when it comes to medical issues. It's just that they read from CNN, they read from Yahoo, they read from magazines. They're not reading studies. They're not treating people. They're not doing anything that I be doing. So as CEO, I don't want someone who's less knowledgeable than me, less qualified than me, taking less steps towards health than me in my inner advisory circle. And so that's the biggest step right now for you, becoming CEO. Find out who's advising you in this area of your life, and maybe it's time to add some new people, or Maybe it's time to subtract. Normally you do both, but let's start with just identifying and then thinking about what you might wanna do with that. If you know anyone in your life who's like us, I mean someone who really cares about their health, they're looking to make a change, they want to live a long, healthy life, I want you to share this video with them. This is so important. If you have the wrong advisors, if you're listening, if you're reading 
the wrong things, you're never going to be healthy. I want to thank you for watching this episode of SC Lifestyle TV. Make sure you leave a comment. Tell us who is in your inner circle. How did this exercise help you? And we'll see you on the next episode. Welcome back to SC Lifestyle TV. I'm Steve Wright. Yours is your home for... <laughs> Welcome back to SE Lifestyle TV, your home for simple action steps for better digestion, better health, and how to live a great life. I want to tell you a little secret. No one's going to be invested. I want to tell you a little secret. No one's going to be invested. I got to tell you a little secret. No one's going to be as, as, as invested as invested. Ah!